Tonight, leaders at a local school district insist they're telling the truth about recent fights and threats. This is after parents of Elgin High School students say they saw a video on social media of a fight there at school and they heard a knife was used. Elgin ISD says there was no weapon. In a letter, the district also explained that reports of a gun at school and social media rumors of a student threatening to shoot classmates are unsubstantiated. Those aren't true. KXAN Sarah Alshea spoke to parents about why they're still afraid to send their children to school. Literally the light of my life and it shows. My baby. Elgin High School parent Leandra Yanis says the past two days have left her extremely worried. I don't feel comfortable sending her to school. Yanis says on Monday her daughter, a sophomore at the high school, texted her that the fire alarms went off and that there was a fight at school where somebody was stabbed. And then again on Tuesday, another situation. My mother actually was going home from an appointment. She's like, hey, what's going on at the school? There are sirens going that way. The kids are all outside again. And I'm like, what? Giannis received an email from the district that another fire alarm went off because of a malfunction with the system. But she says she also heard reports on social media of students saying there was a gun on campus. In an email sent to parents Tuesday, Elgin ISD said both school officials and law enforcement looked through hallway surveillance footage and phone recordings submitted by students and saw no weapon throughout any of these incidents. The district says the student in the fight was injured by quote their own actions. Still, Giannis says that's hard to believe there was blood like there's she showed me the photos like I've seen the videos circulating on social media. The district says out of an abundance of caution, there will be increased police presence at the high school. Yana says along with that, she'd also like more communication from the district as these incidents happen so both she and her daughter can feel safe. I want my child to be able to go to school and not have to worry that if she hears a loud noise or she hears something in this classroom, to freak out. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. We reached out to the district with several questions, including how students involved will be held accountable. And they told us they're following their student code of conduct and that any criminal offenses will be reported to law enforcement. We also thought it was important to point out part of the letter from the superintendent. So it does read in part, I have no reason to hide the truth from you. I am a parent myself who understands the heightened concerns. I promise you that every single rumor has been vetted. And as students with such claims were questioned, they either recanted their story or changed their statement. The superintendent added, we as a community must find a way to work together and know that social media is not where the valid truth is. Now this story stemmed from multiple reports, so if you have a tip you want us to look into or a story idea, you can scan this QR code on your screen with your phone. It will take you to reported at kxan.com and that's where you can email it to us.